How's it coming, dear? Uh, I know it must be hard going through Grandma Kathy's stuff. Anything you want, it's yours. Okay. My beloved Monica to read when I'm gone. Love, Grandma Kathy. What is this? Joe? Everything changed the year I met Joe. It was 1963, and America was on the brink of change. Vietnam was heating up, and the nation marched on Washington. Schools were integrating. The Beatles had landed. Oh, we had credit cards and color TVs and a new doll named Barbie. But while the times were a-changing, nobody knew just how quickly they could change. And nowhere was that more true than out of way. My family had lived in Attaway ever since my great-great-grandfather opened the first auto plant in 1897. By the time I was born, we owned half the town and employed most of it. We were the Fitzroys, unofficial royalty, which of course made me the princess locked away in her tower. I had everything and knew nothing. Well, next to nothing. What I had learned was how little I knew about those closest to me, and how little I knew about myself. My brother Henry had just left for military school, and my parents turned all their attention on me. Is that what you're wearing, dear? Ray, you're not bringing your Willie Mays ball to school. The guys want to see it, Mom. The guys? We're going to play after school. Don't flip your wig. Excuse me? Don't have a conniption? Ray, I understand the sentiment, but I simply cannot understand where you learned to speak that way into your dear, loving mother. Oh, it's all those movies, isn't it? Hmm. Pick it up. Sorry, sorry, my mom. Hop in, babe. Neat <laughs> blouse. Kath, we need to talk about trading. Donna said there's some fab grade eights we need to look out for. Maybe we can. Joe, on the other hand was from a different Attaway altogether. Joe, you gotta be late. Joe's family had been in Attaway almost as long as mine, but our circles rarely overlapped. Have you seen my book? Morning, Joe. Are you still coming today, right? Don't get your hopes up, kiddo. Your Uncle Bobby never stays long. Sure. Better to be hopeless. Where's Junior? He's opening the diner. He's gonna start working morning shifts before school. I still don't see why I can't help out. I've got nothing but time. Plus, I'm way stronger than he is. We may not be the fanciest family in Attaway, but I'm not so poor as I have to send my daughter to work. You just stay out of trouble. 
That's a full-time job. God, it's what, 8 a.m. and that skag's already reading. Who, Joe? Yes. Ew. Watch this. Hey, Joe! Hey, wait up. Let me help you. Oh, golly. What's your problem? <laughs> Welcome back to school. Guys, that wasn't very nice. It's just Joe Chambers. a boy on the Phoenix Fest committee. I mean, 20 girls can handle the decorating, but not the heavy lifting. What about him? I'd certainly like to see him lifting weights. Babe, where's your pin? Oh, right, my pin. Yeah, my varsity pin. The pin that lets everyone know that we're going steady and that you're my girl. Sorry, my mom made me change outfits at the last minute. I promise. Let's get to class, girls. Hey, Joe, you got a little something on your shirt. Whoa. My office, Miss Chambers. Class ladies now. I wanted this year to be different, Joe. A fresh start, a clean slate. And then you come in on the first day, literally covered in mud. You think I planned this? You never do, Joe. Can I go? Not so fast. Somehow, your schedule's already cockeyed. You are signed up for shop. Maybe they confused your name. No, I wanted it that way. You can't make me sit through home ec. Sewing, cooking, it's a violation of my fundamental rights. Joe, is this about what happened to your mother? Because I've been assured by the committee. It has nothing to do with her. Well. If you ever want to talk about it, Nurse Hagelman is just down the hall. Now, we can't have you going to class all covered in mud. Today's complex equation, as you can see on the board, is actually linear algebra. What we will be doing today... How about we get a shake at the diner tonight? Can't. Gotta get started on festival planning. Don't get all clanked. And don't you be a wet rat. We're supposed to be going so <laughs> Continuing on. Of the cornet plane, you can simply find the average values of the respective corners of the end. Look at this equals six. What are you looking at? You reckon we have a chance of beating Millwood this year? <laughs> reckon? I'm certain of it. With me starting at point guard, of course. Oh, did Coach already give you the position? Well, not officially, but unless he wants a visit from my father, he'll toe the line. <laughs> Quite a shot, Junior. Are you going out for the team this year? Uh, nah, I started working the counter at the diner after school. <gasps> Did you see that? What an honor. Don't get all hot and bothered. Beginner's luck. You know there's a new flick playing at the mill with Passion Pit. Pick me up after work? Sorry, Alice. We don't close until late. Well, maybe later I'll be craving a strawberry shake. Political statement? Big puddle, mud, Alice. Oh, that girl's a heel. You know, I checked. I don't think she's once checked out a book. I'm not even sure she can read. <laughs> Speaking of, do you have an extra copy? Hmm. Also, Alice, I think somebody checked out the last copy this morning. Who? Unknown quantity. 
check the card catalog. Well, boys, welcome to Auto Shop. First up, some safety rules and regulations. I don't want to lose any fingers this year. How is Jeremy? <sighs> if Lawrence were my guy, I'd keep my pin on 24-7. <clears throat> welcome to Home Economics, where girls become ladies. Proper ladies. Are we missing a lady? Ratchets? And wrenches. That's how you build a fine automobile. Builds fine young men, too. Now. Far out. Yeah. Equal rights. Super far out. What was that? Um, nothing. Who are you? Uh, Joseph. Attaway is hosting its first ever Phoenix Fest. Kathy Fitzroy, would you like to enlighten your classmates? It's going to be like homecoming, but because of the fire, we wanted to do something different this year. Kathy, as social chair, has enlisted our help with decorations. A perfect marriage, pun intended, with our syllabus for every housewife must be a consummate host. Oh, which reminds me, there's going to be plenty of heavy lifting, so we need someone to chop the wood and build the stage. Oh, why don't you see if Mr. Richards can part with one of his strapping young men? I can already use a hand, circle, and jigsaw. Plus, I can use any one of these wrenches. Yeah, whoa, 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 there, little lady. I just want to learn a useful skill, like how to build a car or a Winnebago, which could technically be considered homemaking, so. Excuse me? I was wondering if I could borrow somebody for the build for Phoenix Fest. I think I've got the perfect volunteer for you. What do you say, Joseph? <sighs> we could really use your help. You're probably the only girl in the Ottawa that's ever even held a hammer. That's what I've been trying to explain to everyone. So then you'll do it? Absolutely not. Is this about your mother? Because if it is, then I assure it you- It has again. nothing to do with her. I don't need to plan an event I won't attend. Very well. There are several ways to fold a dinner napkin, which is the building block for any worthwhile soiree. Oh, some things never change. Brett! I asked you to check the freezer before you left. You ruined 40 pounds of ground beef. You call that beef? Get out, you're fired! Fine by me. Welcome to Attaway Diner. Choose any. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Hey, can I play? Seriously, babe? Let me out. You can't be for real. I'll call you later. Have it your way. Good luck with that four-eyed sweat hog. I come in peace. Forgive me if I don't believe you. Thought any more about the Phoenix Fest committee? No. Can you just promise to think about it, please? I can't, okay? Plus, my Uncle Bob is coming to town. I mean, at least he's supposed to. Gosh. Can you even imagine living here? Yes, unfortunately. Come on, I'll give you the grand tour. Mom, 
Ray? Shall we? I guess we shall. You said I could play. We meant in 10 minutes. You said we meant in 10 minutes. 10 minutes ago. Don't you want to see my signed ball? Cut the gas, kid. You don't have a signed ball. You know, it was one against the Phillies last May. My dad took me. My dad took me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a phony to me. But it's real. In that case, we'll keep it. <laughs> When you're young, you're focused on the here and now, on a math assignment or the school dance. So when the truth comes out, it can take you totally by surprise. What's a good theme that hasn't been done a million times? You're reading To Kill a Mockingbird too? Just finished it last week. Actually, you remind me of Scout. Too bad my copy's run for good. Take it. My friends did a number on yours. I'll just get a copy at the library. Why are they your friends? I know Alice can be tough, but she's one of my oldest friends. She's loyal. If you say so. She's tough like you. Honestly, I bet you two would get along. That chance. Anyway, I should probably go see if Uncle Bobby turned up at the diner. That's just where Alice will be. We should go together to surprise her. Seriously, I gotta get home. I wasn't even supposed to take it out of the house. Watch this. <laughs> Just went over the fence, kid. Relax. Look, that's the old Alvarez place. Did you see Lawrence's nest singing a lot? I wonder where I got off to. Excuse me, but do you know where I can find a pint-sized girl about, like, yay tall, nose in a book? Uncle hey. Bobby! Dad said you wouldn't come, but I knew it. I knew it. Thank you for not losing faith in me. Hey, settle down over there, huh? You got customers. Yes, sis. Look what Uncle Bobby brought me from San Francisco. What'd you get me? Oh, just a little something. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. So what's um this is this is this is Alice. Wait, Kath. It's not what it looks like. How could you? Oh! Oh! You. Oh. Hey, Alice. You have something on your shirt. Come on, let's go. We could never have guessed how our lives would change after that day. But once Joe was in my life, nothing would ever be the same. a thing. What's that? Nothing. Just some old school books. Okay. Hurry up. <laughs> 